welcome back to Completely Karen. Today I am starting a series where I offer up parenting advice. I've been a parent for 14 years now. I have two kids, you've met them in some of my other videos, Robin and Liam, and I love my kids more than anything. They're amazing kids, and I love spending time with them. I love being their mom, and I feel like I'm not gonna say I'm the best mom ever, but I feel like I'm pretty good at it. We have a really good relationship, it's very open, and I like spending time with them and they like spending time with me. So I figured that I would just start offering up some of the things that I do as a parent and maybe it will help some of you out there as parents or as kids. Um, things that you want your parents to do, maybe you can go ask them to start doing those things if they're not doing them yet. <laughs> anyway, um, so today I thought that it would be great to offer up some advice on how to help your kids become great readers because my kids are both really great readers. They love to read. Um, they love books. They are always going to the library, always bringing home something new, always wanting to buy new books and, and read new books. And um, I feel like that's something that maybe I instilled in them when they were younger. So that is my advice right now is when your kids are young, read to them every single night. When they were really little, um, obviously I read children's books to them, but as they got older, I started to read books that I was interested in reading or books that I had read that I absolutely loved and thought that they would enjoy too. I think one of the first book series that I ever read to my daughter when she was probably about five um, was the Harry Potter series. And maybe you guys think that's too young to start, but honestly, she was so enveloped in the story and loved it so much that I think it really gave her a hunger and a want to find other books that have that kind of adventure and that kind of storytelling and love. And, and she just kind of fell in love with books and the amazing things that they can bring into your life. And as Liam got a little bit older, he, and you know, I would still read children's books to him, but as he got older, he would sit in on those sessions that I would have with Robin every night reading and he got excited about those kind of books as well. And to this day, they love to read. They read all the time. Robin has a book with her everywhere she goes. And um, of course, every night before bed, they are always reading, always going to the library. And I feel like that's something that maybe I as a parent was able to help instill in them. Thankfully, we have so many, so many great writers out there who continually are putting out great new things. Um, for the kids to stay interested in and keep reading. But as a parent, I think it's your job to get them excited about that. And so start when they're young. And if they're already older than young, that's okay. Why don't you find a book that both sounds good to you and both read it? You don't have to read it together if you don't want, but maybe take turns and then talk about it and figure out what you liked about it and what you didn't like about it. It's all about opening the lines of communication, letting your kids know that you have the same interests and that you are excited to hear about what's going on and what they're reading and what they like about it and what they don't like about it. Um, so yeah, that's my advice is to just try and guide your kids in this world today. Um, get them to love reading and the way to do that is to be interested in what they're reading, read to them, or read all the same books together. That's always really fun to do too. So if you have any comments about what you do to help your kids to be great readers or what you'd like your parents to do to help you be a great reader, leave it in the comments below. I'd love to hear them. I'd love to read about them. Um, make sure you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. And of course, always, always, if you like it, definitely subscribe. So I will see you next time on Completely Karen. Thanks so much and bye.